Andre Slave. We today we're jumping into the Handmaid's Tale, season two, episode twelve. We have one episode to go, and then we are going to be jumping in to season three. I'm super excited. I am here for the ruckus. I am here for the noise. Um, guys, please like the video. Please share the video, and don't forget to comment down below. Um. <laughs> The, all this energy has slowly just started to hit me all at the same time. So if I seem a little delirious, it's because I've been pumping myself up with these wonderful roasted coffee bean chocolate flavored thingamajiggies. And then of course I have my energy drink. So I always try to like amp myself up to watch this show because this show generally drains my energy. But I love it and I keep coming back for more. It's like an abusive relationship that I just can't get enough of. It's like eating pizza with pepperoni and all these other toppings on top of it. I love how these comparisons are happening. And I'm on a diet. It's like spending more money on my debit card and I know I only have five cents in my bank account. I just love it! Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I do those comparisons, but I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoy it. It is a key. So I'm ready to jump into this, guys. Um, I already said to like and share blah blah blah. If you would like to see this in a full reaction, you guys can. For the second and third tier here on this platform, YouTube, that will always help copyright my sh as well as my other glorious platform, Patreon. So guys, once again, if you would like to see this in a full reaction before YouTube realizes that we're making more than $5 in a month and then decides to block it and copyright it, please join one of those platforms, Patreon, today. Now, without further ado, let's jump into The Handmaid's Tale and find out exactly what The Handmaid's has got to give. My sweet Nicole. My dear girl. So precious. Every drop. Was everything down there? Have we healed? Mm hmm I know this is difficult for you, but you have done something extraordinary. I can't bear to think what might have happened if those neighbors hadn't found you. Aunt Lydia, it's even less than yesterday. I know, but we are bound by Mrs. Waterford's wishes. You promised me you would take care of this baby. One can't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Several households have already made overtures. And, her, and Mrs. Weber sent me these baked goods. <laughs> I think I've earned a whole cake. Prideful ghosts don't get anything. Bran. Great. Praise fucking me. You're running point on media expansion now. You'll need to spread out. Understanding with some overzealous guardians, but Nick protected our child. You handled the situation at that house with discretion. I thought you were taking care of it, sir. Things are gonna happen for you. There's a hook for that. Just there. Down on the right. Oh. Inspiring. Isn't it? Thanks to God. Such beautiful things. Shut up, Eden. Service and sacrifice. Shut up, Serena. In the end, it's all worth it. I help my mother a lot with my little sister. Your sister? Your parents have been so blessed. Not too hot, is it? No. No, ma'am. Ma'am, our supply is running low. It's just sometimes the milk dries up if the baby's yes, not... Yes, I understand. We can't have that now, can we? Where am I going? Just follow me. Plus a day. Plus a day? Well, hello there. No, no, no. Seeing her might prime the pump, so to speak. Nicole? Nicole. Beautiful name for a beautiful child. 
She looks just like her father. This is God's way, dear. Yes, well, that did the trick. Let me nurse her. That would be very helpful. Just send what we need to the house. I have to repeat this whole process. I appreciate your insight. It'd be more efficient if offered were to pump for the baby at home. May I be worthy? Consider what's best for your daughter. I asked you a question. Did you let her touch my child? I promised I wouldn't. Instead, you brought her straight home. Oh, be sensible. A child needs a calm and healthy environment, and you are making that very difficult. Let's see how it goes. She has no contact with the baby, and she pumps in her room. Mother knows best. Stupid, stupid mother. You're running out of chances. You must behave. Commander Lawrence is a very brilliant very important man. He's considered the architect of Gilead's economy. I'm wondering why such an important, brilliant man would take in such a shitty handmaid. Come in then. Thank you. It's our oh, shit. God damn it. What's going on? Where are we? Bless me the fruit. Praise be to you, and may God make me worthy. Super. Shall we wait for Mrs. Lawrence? She won't be coming down. She's not feeling well. Blessed be the fruit. Glory be. Don't touch my stuff! You want a beating? Try it, old man. What are you looking at? I'm sorry, Commander Lawrence. You know the penalty for reading nowadays? Feel free to answer any time. A finger for a first offense. You think that's fair? It used to be a hand back in the good old days. So he's dashing crazy. She's right below them, above them. Don't go in there. Under his eye. Under his eye? Does it hurt to pump? I can't wait to feel it. Shut up. We don't want to talk to you. You're annoying. I'd want a child to be raised by parents who really love each other. I don't even know what she's saying. Let me pay attention. What if you had that chance for love and the baby? You don't have to, to worry about me, I think. In this place, you grab love. And sweet dreams. Oh, I'm sorry, Eden. Flour. Oh, and get extra potatoes. Starchy food is good for nursing mothers. I'm sorry. She eating around. I don't have enough to do. I have to keep tabs on your wife now. <laughs> I haven't seen her today. Oh, she was gone when I woke up this morning. I heard there was a sale at Old Navy. Her baby's so beautiful. I wish I could hold her. Me too. Run away somewhere. You tried that already. It's not working. Where would we go? Out west. Coast. It's still Gilead. Hawaii, then. She's gonna love the beach. She's gonna try to eat the sand. <laughs> she is? Yeah. Whole kids do it. <laughs> she won't. She's too smart like her mom. Holly. That's what I want to name. After my mom. I hope they never get caught because they're just like out in the open, y'all. Nick! Me and Isaac, he's not at his post. I'll take care of it. He never showed up for his shift this morning. I think we may have a situation. Do you know what this looks like for me? Please. Eden is a good, pious girl. A married woman swept up in her own selfish lust. That is enough. You go do what you need to do to find that girl, but you leave me out of it. She's so fussy today. Does she want a bottle? No, she just had me. You want me to take her? No. Shh. 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 Shh.
You don't have milk, girl. She changes Nicole's outfits every ten minutes. <laughs> Never thought I'd miss Eden so much. Oh my god, so Eden's gone off the shelf. Fucking late. Wasted time dealing with that slut. She won't get far. Well, I hope she's all right. Why would a girl risk so much to leave? Love. Where were you hiding when we searched in that house? The attic. <laughs> so you heard us. My heart was beating so fast I couldn't hear much of anything. You were that frightened. Yet you preferred to hide in the attic to avoid coming home. I had just said goodbye to my daughter. You know what? I wanted to spend some more time with my baby. So how was your reunion? I was surprised to see her. It's what you wanted, isn't it? It's what you asked for. Glad I made it happen. Thank you. Is that all the thanks I get? We could play Scrabble sometime. Scrabble? Yeah. It's been a while, and I think it would be fun. Don't you? Hello. Who are you? I'm Joseph. Your real name. Don't tell Joseph that I came in. He doesn't like it when I talk to the girls. Yes, ma'am. He came up with the whole thing. With what? The colonies. He, he planned everything. He, he figured it all out. Please! Oh, please, oh, please. Please. Oh, you're oh. You're hitting it back in the bed. And I'm gonna come back and check on you. You know what you did! She's gonna kill him. Come. I think she's gonna kill him. And then she'll definitely kill herself. We value privacy in this house. Life didn't turn out the way she wanted to. She was an art professor. She wanted everything to be beautiful. Where are you from? Here. No, you're not. You're from Montana. What did you teach? I don't remember any science professors that looked like you. Those college boys must have been hot for a teacher. Or college girls, in, in your case. God has called me to a higher purpose. You don't believe that? You had an affair with a Martha. Oh. You stole a car. You ran over a guardian. The, Wife and a, a son? Yes, sir. You must miss them. Losing a child is like losing a, a limb, a part of your body. But you know what that's like, too, right? Do you know, have you healed properly? They, they found her. Oh. Is she okay? They brought her back with Isaac. Tell them you might be pregnant. He tested me, I'm not. Truth doesn't matter right now. It Eden. matters to God. He knows what's in my heart. He doesn't decide what happens here today, okay? Tell them what they need to hear. Say you sinned, you're sorry. I can't. All I wanted was to make a real family. Not what Gilead wants of God's servants. We can do that. We can make a family. I love Isaac. And he loves me and we want to be together. I don't want to have your baby. I'm really sorry. I need you to forgive me. I'm the one. I should be asking you to forgive me. I should have been kinder. Let's forgive each other then. You have your whole life ahead of you. The Lord said, Eden, please. Thou passest through the waters. I shall be with thee. Stop. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt.
The accused have been found guilty of infidelity. They have been sentenced to the common mercy of the state. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. Renounce your sins and plead for his mercy. Children of God, renounce your sins and plead for his mercy. Hey, Dad! And plead for his mercy. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. Contents with you. And I will save your children. I'll get you a bottle. No, wait. This one looks crazy, so please know this is just right now. Let's start, we gotta start right, right at the elephant in the room. The big elephant in the room. Eden, oh my gosh, girl. Like, I am so shocked. I actually thought Eden was gonna be such a big problem and she was not, Eden was not the problem. Um, I am actually shocked and appalled at my mouth. How dare I speak against Eden, that young girl. She was, she was what? I don't know, she was a young girl just looking to be loved, you know? <laughs> If you guys are new to my channel and new to this uh, reactions of me watching The Handmaids, please don't go back into the other reactions and see how horribly I trashed Eden. It's actually, go back and watch those reactions because, of course, views are everything, honey. Um, <laughs> but once you hear me talk about Eden, please, please, fast forward it. Um, even in this, I just wasn't in the mood to hear her. Like, and I just kept up. You know what it is? It's not, okay, it is even. But also, I just am tired of hearing these people talk about God. Like, I am tired of talking about God. I am over it. Like, I, I'm like, is it the seventh day yet? Because we all need a little rest. Um, like, I'm over it. And why am I over it? I'm not an atheist, guys. Um, but I have never met, well, that's why. There are so many people. Let's let's go there. <laughs> because Eden's dead. So now <laughs> I'm coming out guns a blazing. Um let's talk about the evangelist people, right? Or these holy, holy, holier than thou people, right? So these evangelist people that are over there in wherever the holy evangelist uh, state that they're in, um they are speaking the word of God and they love God and God and God and I don't know what else they love. They might like brownies with a little bit of powder as well. But they also like Donald Trump. And Donald Trump actually was convicted of the R word. If you guys have not heard, he was. Um, and the judge, um, then uh, Trump, decided to go over there and try to... I shouldn't even say his name. I'm going to say the name that I shall never mention again. The name that I should never mention again. He went to court and tried to get the R word taken off of his record, but the judge in the case actually said no, sorry. The R word in this aspect is much bigger than what you think it is, and you did R word 
that lady, whatever this lady's name is. Um, and he went on a bashing spree, and now she's suing him again. Plus, the name that I should never mention again, he not only did stuff with a porn star, not only did he try to steal our votes, not only did he uh, call uh, 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 Mexicans, what do you call them? Rapists and drug dealers. Not only did he t uh, try to put money with, uh, you know, for the Central Park Five, he wanted them killed. Not only did he talk about, uh, not only did he throw paper towels at Latinos, um, not only did he, uh, what else did he, I mean, there's so much this man did. But the evangelist people still are behind him 100%. Not only are they behind him 100%, they like lay hands on him and like pray to him. Why am I mentioning it? Because if you really look about, it, look at this, these people still are preaching the word of God and murdering people left and right and in the most brutal way. Well, not only are they murdering them, to do all of, to, to think about letting these people climb up a uh, uh, diving, whatever the hell, the hell those things are called, chain them to weights, and then push them into a pool, and then drown them that way. That is like some evil shit. You get what I'm saying? So, and then they still keep preaching it. Serena, who was behind the R word happening to June countless of times, her attacking June, her being a main person in this whole Gilead, Gilead thing, still praises the Lord. Whatever Lord these people pray to, I don't want no parts of it. And that's me speaking in real time about the evangelist people and these these Catholic people that believe that forcing women um, to um, and, and taking their uh, um, rights away about abortion, not only not only can they stick it, but I'm tired of them mentioning God. And now this thing is coming out because I'm actually a thing over it, and I. Don't no, I hope. Let me tell you something. I hope this reaction goes viral and that people actually listen to the ending of this reaction. Because if the the name I should never mention again becomes president, I'm letting you guys know it's going to be ten times worse than what is when it was when he was initially president. And all of this stuff that's happening in this show is going to happen in real life very rapidly and I hope that this extends to people not just people who are like I'm not a democrat by the way um, and I'm not that all like holy holy either but I hope that it reaches people who have different type of mindsets than me because it's really cool I love y'all who think like me or like have the same um, thought process and agree with me right but I hope that it reaches people that don't or don't think like me because maybe they can really look at these type of shows and be like damn this can really effing happen and it's knocking on heaven's door not only do we have the name I should never mention again the man in Florida who decides to wear clothes 18 times bigger than what he is and he's a big bitch he's wearing clothes that just it's just not fitted at all he's walking around with his oversized head and he's just doing shit left and right I'm talking about taking black history out of classes did you guys know that they um William Shakespeare they're not allowed to actually teach William Shakespeare they can only do little certain uh, excerpts in it they can't even do William Shakespeare because God has Oh, there I go mentioning God. Lord forbid, oh, that same person, that it's going to offend somebody. William Shakespeare? They're like, oh, well, our kids, they can't hear this. This is for high schoolers. I promise you, those high schoolers are piping each other down in the, in, 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 on the school bus, at parties, and, and maybe your parents' bedroom. We are tired, and I am sick and tired of these effing people and you know what no shade and motherfucking tea most of the people making up all these dumb rules and regulations are all white men and I'm gonna go there how about that I'm wearing rainbow color shirt and and this light is making me look yellow and I dye my hair orange and it's blending in the background and I'm pissed 
Eden is dead, and I'm tired. You know what? I hope this video actually reaches the younger generation that are 18 years older and around that. No shade to people who are older. But around that 18 year olds, because they're the, going to be the ones that will help determine about all of this stuff. Because voting matters. Your your vote matters. If you haven't noticed, that black Supreme uh, Court Justice Clarence Thompson and his motherfucking oversized nose is over there just, he just, he is just the, as corrupt as the rest, one, rest of them. And he ends up being the same color of this. And he doesn't understand that he's the same color of this. And he's not the same color of. I don't even got anything white in here. <laughs> but I'm pissed. I am so pissed. And this this episode really hit political things. I'm tired of like sugarcoating shit. And from now on, I, if I feel like talking about politics, listen, I don't do, I normally don't do politics, but on this show, I am. My outros are going to be effing fucking crazy. Why I just bleep myself when I started cursing enemies? No, I'm going to go there. I am tired. I am sick. And I hope, I, I really do hope that people go out I, you know what? This this show should be broadcasted, and thank God Ohio decided to vote and and have their 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 rights uh, stand up and stop the uh, the abortion thing that the Republicans are trying to do against women. Women have the right to, for their own bodies. If somebody asks me what do I feel about abortion, I would say let the women decide. Those the women's productive rights stand up. Of it. You are men and old white entitled men and y'all don't have the right to decide about what women can and cannot do. We are tired of it. And CNN, stop playing Donald Trump, Ooh, the name I shall never mention again again, and play about the abortion, about the women's and struggling. And I just saw a court case of a woman crying hysterically because the, the doctors could not not give her the abortion thing. And she um, ended up having birth and she they were told that her child wasn't going to make it and they forced her to give birth and her child died in her arms. I was listening to another court case and it's all the same thing in Ohio. They were having these people speak and actually Texas too. So... And a governor in Texas, isn't he rolling his motherfucking wheelchair around? Uh, uh, isn't he putting immigrants in like water or something? Something crazy in his motherfucking wheelchair. And he's an old white man too. It is just, we are tired. America needs to wake up, sniff some damn coffee, eat some coffee beans, and wake up. Wake up. Stop listening to the news 24-7 of CNN and Fox News. And maybe turn turn on some MSNBC. Maybe uh, Morning Joe. They're pretty effing good. Mika's amazing. Shout out to Mika. Um, but you know what? I'm just over it. I'm so over it. And I really don't like to talk about politics. But Eden, as I said, is dead. And it really irk me because she loved Jesus, God, whatever, and then she got put underneath the water, and there was no Moses to separate the water for her, and so she drowned with her man, Isaac. Hello? Oh, I spoke for 11 minutes. Hair flip. Um, let's move along, because I'm pissed. June, let's just call June the Death Slayer, because every time she talks, somebody dies, or something horrible happens. So, June... Offered, just walk around, <laughs> and until you got a plan to get the fuck out of this place, don't talk. Because every time you talk, something horrible happens. Nick is really upset, by the way. Nick is upset. He's he's very upset, and I feel bad for Nick. You know, he is so fine. Um, he's so fine. He's so fine. He blow my mind. Hey, Nick. Hey, 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 Nick. By the way, somebody commented and was like, "Oh." I, when I was saying how much I love Nick all the way down, somebody was like, well, he is still a man in Gilead. So it made me nervous. I was like, oh my God, what's he going to do soon? Is he going to do something crazy? But he even tried to stop Eden from being killed. He, he was he was even try telling her he would have a baby with her. He helped June countless of times. What else does Nick have to do for y'all? He is trying. He is looking scrumptious in every episode. He's looking delicious. What else does this man have to do? He's driving around in this car. Car? Okay. We're tired. I'm tired. Let's move on to um, 
Commander Waterford. Commander Waterford, I actually, <laughs> I'm on the verge of like wanting to make out with you and then stab you in your eye eyeballs with a toothpick. I uh, put me into Gilead. Actually, I could think of some horrible ways to kill people. You know what? Oh, he, you know, the show actually really tries to make you like, like, like hate these people, and then they try to like sprinkle like some positive things about them or positive things they do on these horrible, horrible characters. So as in Commander Waterford, he just R word Serena. Then they're like, oh, but he let Serena be with her child. Not Serena, I'm sorry. Cause she's, she's, she's next. He R rate, he R word June and then let June go see her child, right? So you just sprinkle it, a little good things. Then Serena did all of what she did to June, right? Kicked out the house, slapped her up, threatened her life. Horrible. But then at the end, they sprinkle in, oh, she let her hold and, and breastfeed the baby. <laughs> when these two die, I don't even want them to die right away. I want it to last for episodes because one episode of them just being killed would not suffice. I want it to drag out. <laughs> I want... I want it to drag out really bad. I really don't like either either one of these characters. And somebody, I believe, had sympathy for Serena or something. Don't have sympathy for Serena. This lady is crazy. She is... I would call her evil, but I think she's just batshit crazy. I think she is a bat full of shit and she's batshit crazy. Like, she's literally a lunatic. Um, Commander Waterford, I think he's more diabolical, diabolical and evil. Diabolical is not a word. Diabolical is, but um, he's evil. That man is evil, um, in my opinion. But Serena, I don't think she's, I don't think she's evil. I don't even think she even knows how to spell evil. Actually, she's really smart. She's very smart. So maybe she could be considered evil because she's extremely smart and she did what she had to do to get actually Gilead up and going. Is she, isn't she like a founder of Gilead, her, the commander? And now we're learning about this guy who's with the other handmaiden who got her thing out. Um, and he's like the man who created the colony. So you have all these like main people starting to pop up in the place. And I think that handmaiden is going to end up killing him and she's going to die. And it's probably what happened next episode. I feel like they set it up and she's going to end up killing him. Yep. I hope not. I hope, I hope she has a good ending. I just don't see that happening. Sorry. <sighs> Aunt Lydia. I'm... I don't like her for what she's done and I understand she's still she's also batshit crazy but I just like her like on the scene until she starts doing more crazy things again to refresh my memory of how horrible a lady she is right now I just kind of like her like like I don't know she has a soft spot for children for whatever reason for the past and she also has a really soft spot for the handmaids most most of the time it seems so you know and Aunt Lydia, Lydia, she's in my, like, not attack area at the moment. But all the rest of them, I hope they die in a fiery, burning death. Okay, guys, it was a lot of fun being here, but I gotta go. I gotta edit all this stuff, and it's gonna leave. So, thank you guys for being here. Did you guys know I have a new store? But before we get out of here, I do. I have a new store. The link is down below, guys. So, please click that link and go see my store. It is up. It is running. See the merchandise as well as all the new stuff that I'll be creating, like, probably later today. So, once again, check out my new store. Also, there's other links down below. The Discord and Instagram link. Please click those links and join me over there on Instagram or Discord and, and I would love to just see you guys and chat with you guys so once again add me onto there and check out my merchandise and definitely 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 I paid for my stream lab so I will be going live very soon it's official I bought stream labs I think that's what it's called so I will be doing a live very very soon thank you guys again like share the video comment down below and I'll see you guys next time with more The Handmaid's Tale